Travis Took here with my good friend and fellow black belt, Professor Jose, and I'll be teaching you a guard pass, recovery pass, from uh, an opponent who counters my cut through. So let's have a look at it. So I approach the guard, I see an opening right here, and as I'm controlling, and I, I look to lower to try to cut through, but my opponent beats me to the underhook. Not only did he beat me, but he's got a hold of my waist in a way where he's not going to just let me come back up. He's gonna to start to go to my back. I realize the danger I'm in, and so from here, I'm going to back step. I'm going to pin, post, back step, and peg the head. This is important. This stops him from wiggling and knocking me off balance. I hold here, control the leg now, and, and release the hand, just long enough that I feel that I've controlled the movement, and then I'm going to do a quick pummel, dropping my head to the ground as I recover, overhooking, cut the knee wide, and walk back to complete the pass. Let's look at it one more time. All right, so controlling, I start to enter. I don't rush the pass here, I'm controlling. I look for it, but as I go, my opponent intercepts this position, okay? I realize he can start to go to my back and sweep me, so I wanna slow that down. Pin, post, lean forward to give myself plenty of room to back step. I'm sitting on my partner, not to the floor. My hand comes underneath. I kind of cup the shoulder, pin the head to the floor, and I anchor this position here. Pushing the leg, I'm keeping this here, and so if he's trying to kind of move, I just keep him stretched so that he doesn't have any powerful movements. From here, homo under, head to the floor, start looking for this arm as I bring my knee down and my other leg around all at the same time. So right here, he's hanging on. If he tries to move, he's sort of stuck. He's, ha he's hanging on to my ankle. So instead of cutting forward, I cut low, break that free walk the hips back, and then settle into my side control position. Hello guys, this is Professor Jose. I'm here with Professor Travis Took. So we're gonna teach you guys uh, one particular way of passing guard, and this is more of a little bit of separation, a little bit of distance. Um, so, I'm going here with Professor. So there's there's a couple of things that I'm always looking for. I'm not just looking to slide by and get on top. I'm looking to one, pin the hip, the hips, and then see if I can pin the shoulders. Even though there's a lot of separation between me and him, I can still step my leg in this particular position where I'm trapping his hips. And now I'm able to kind of use my upper body to control a little bit of his um, shoulders, right? Now, for now, what I want to do is I want to think about pressure and then pin in one of the arms right here. Now, there's a ton of options that can happen in here. Just if I get him into this particular position, if I feel a reaction, him pushing back into me, I can move in position to get to my cutthroat pass. That's a very good option, right? Sometimes he might kind of open that way, so I might move my body more into a side smash position from there. Um, or my favorite option, is when I can crowd and I am bringing my foot in to crowd the knee inward. And now, if you guys, go ahead and move, Professor. If you can see right here, this is a huge detail. I like to use my hand to kind of trap the leg in place. Once my knee is right behind the hamstring and the calf, takes away a lot of his power. If my knee's pointing out, his hook would eventually have a little bit more power than my leg here. So I wanna make sure I trap him in here. And now I'm using this kind of leaning pressure forward, right? This is gonna allow me to settle on top of them and the windshield wiper my foot on top. Now, from here, I wanna settle my hips down as I open the, uh, the hook away. Now, ending up in a good position, collect the arms, collect the double underhook, and slide into the top position. One more. So I'm here looking to stack the hips, looking to stack the leg, control pin his upper body, now I can windshield wiper my foot on top, open and drop my hips heavy to then settle into a mounted position. All right, hopefully you guys enjoy this options of passing tall or kind of loose pressure.